Hello everyone. Let's think about a world where there is not enough food, wor food for everyone. In this world, many people will be hungry and food will be very expensive. This might seem scary, but it's something we need to talk about. In the next eight to nine minutes, we will learn why this could happen, what it would mean, and how we can fix it. The world's population keeps growing. Think of it like this. More and more people are being born and they all need to eat. And as the number of people on Earth goes up, the amount of food we need also goes up. It's like having a big party where you need more and more pizza as more friends show up. This growing demand for food puts a lot of pressure on our ability to produce it. If we don't plan and work carefully, we might not have enough pizza, I mean food, for everyone. Sometimes weather goes wild, droughts, floods and big storms can ruin crops and make it hard to grow food. And as the world gets warmer, it makes farming tricky and can lead to more bugs and disease hurting crops. Imagine you have a favorite toy and you play with it all the time without taking breaks. Sooner or later it might break, right? Well, the earth, land, water and soil are a bit like our favorite toy. We have been using them a lot, maybe too much. We are building more houses and cities, cutting down forests and using lots of water for many other things. It's like using all your ingredients for your favorite recipe and not having any left. This makes it hard to grow food we need. And if we don't plan and work carefully, we might not have enough resources for food and then many other things we need. What happens if there is not enough food left? If we don't have enough food, many people would be hungry and it can lead to hunger and malnutrition, especially for kids and old people. When people can't find enough food, it can lead to some big problems in our communities. Imagine this. When you are really hungry, you might even get upset and even argue with your friends or family. It's because our bodies have something called instincts. It's like a natural way we act when we are trying to survive. Imagine this. When everyone in your town are hungry too, their instincts kick in just like your food. Because when they might do things they wouldn't usually do because they are so desperate for food. We should make sure there is enough food for everyone. It's a super important job. And we can avoid these kinds of problems and keep our communities safe and peaceful. We want to rely on our kindness and cooperation rather than our instincts when it comes to sharing food. When there is not enough food left, prices of food would go way up. Imagine going to your favorite store and finding out that your favorite snack costs 10 times more than usual. It can make for families to buy food, and some people would spend most of their money on food, leaving very little for other things like school supplies, clothes, and even fun activities. For farmers who grow our, grow, grow our food when they have bad harvests or they don't have enough water, it can be tough too because they might not make as much money as they need to support their families or keep their farms grow going. This can make our economy a bit shaky and uncertain. So, when we waste food, we are not just throwing away what's on our plates. We are wasting hard work and money of people who grow our food. So, if we can be careful not wasting money, it won't be so difficult and won't be so, so hard or our own wallets. Growing food is a bit like a puzzle. Farmers need to figure out how to use the land, water, and soil smartest way possible. They can change crops they grow in their fields each year to keep the soil healthy. Well, they can use friendly bugs and natural methods to, cro to protect their crops instead of using, instead of using harmful chemicals. So, scientists are like food superheroes. They are coming up with cool ideas and tools, like special plants that can grow in tough conditions, or even amazing machines that let us grow food indoors. These innovations can help us grow food without harming the planet, and there is plenty for everyone. So, uh, we can make sure we don't waste food and throw it away. If we use leftovers, share food, 
ex shared extra food, it won't be so hard on our wallets. Collaborative efforts are making sure there is enough food for everyone is a big job, and we can do it alone. It's like a team sport where we all have to work together. So let's do it together. Let's save our world together. Thanks.